Hi everyone, today we're going to connect QuickBooks Desktop to RAMP. You'll need to be logged into both QuickBooks Desktop and your RAMP account in order to complete this connection process today. First things first, please sign into QuickBooks Desktop and make sure you have admin access as well as you're signed in in single user mode. The way you can check that is by clicking on File, and if you see Switch to Multi-User Mode, you're in the right spot. Within QuickBooks Desktop, the first step we're going to take is create a RAM card liability account. This is where all of your RAM transactions will post to. So go ahead and open up your chart of accounts, and all the way on the bottom left, you'll see an account button with a down arrow. Go ahead and click on that and click New. From here, you're going to select credit card and then click continue. Where it says account name, you're going to type in ramp card, and then you're going to go ahead and click in save and continue. Now you have a ramp card liability account under credit card type ready for those transactions. The next step is to import all of your lists that you're using in QuickBooks over to ramp. So first, we're going to export them from QuickBooks Desktop. Go to File on the top left. Go ahead and click into Utilities, Export, List to IIF Files. Now, with this QuickBooks connection process, you can only use the chart of accounts, customer list, vendor list, and class list. If you're using any other list, such as job type or item list, then you'll need to use our universal CSV connection process in order to connect. If you've you selected all four that you're using, go ahead and press OK. And now it'll prompt you to save it somewhere. And I would recommend saving it somewhere easily accessible and easy to find since we will be needing this soon. So I'm going to save it on my desktop and just name the IAF file RAM. This little box indicates that your data has been successfully exported, so you can press OK here. Now we are ready to import this data into RAMP. So let's switch over to our RAMP account. So when you're in your RAMP account and in your accounting tab, it'll look as a lot like this. So for example, once you log into RAMP, and you head over to your accounting tab, there'll be a button that says get started now, which you'll be able to click and it'll bring you to this page. Today, we'll be using this QuickBooks Desktop IIF export connection process in order to connect. As I said earlier, if you're using any other list besides the four that I mentioned, which was chart of accounts, vendor, class, and customer list, then you'll need to use our universal CSV connection process in order to continue. What you'll do is down here, you'll click on this drop down and you'll type in QBD and select this hyperlink and it'll prompt you through the process. So right now we're going to connect using QuickBooks Desktop, so let's go ahead and click there. The first step is to import your chart of accounts and any other list that you're using, basically that IIF file that we saved earlier. RAMP is asking if you've created that RAMP liability account for credit card transactions supposed to. Since we've already done that, we can check this off and now we can upload our IIF file. We'll select that, click open, and then once it's uploaded, all of my lists will show down here. I can give it a quick eye and everything looks well. Now, if you do see something is off, you could always import a new IIF file from QuickBooks Desktop but everything looks great to me here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Continue. Then it'll ask you to click on this drop down and select Ramp Card as your liability account. After that, go ahead and click on Save and Continue. Once you see this green check mark, this indicates that you have successfully imported your chart of accounts and lists. From there, go ahead and click on Start Coding Expenses. If you have made transactions already, your page will look exactly like mine. But before we can export any transaction, we need to configure to export. So all the way on the top right, you're going to click on configure to export. And if you do not see this, you'll simply click on settings and then sync settings. It'll take you to the same spot. 
So first things first, you can see that this is broken out by different sections. We have card spend, reimbursements, bill pay, and this account is connected to multi-entity. However, you can disregard. So for card spend, the first thing that you'll do is select this drop down where it says accounting credit card liability account, and you're going to select ramp card. Again, this is where your ramp transactions will sync to. Now, when it comes to statement payments, this is the bank account that you'll be paying RAMP from. It will be automatically deducted on your payment due date, which you can find in your expenses and travel tab. From here, you're going to select the cash account associated with this bank account. In my case, it is my operating account, so I'm going to select that. Down here, if you are receiving any cash back, you're going to want to put this in an income or revenue account because this will look like additional income for your business. So if you click on this drop down, you can always type to search. I have an other income account that I'll put this in. And there you go. Now down here, you have the option to select your default accounting date. Transaction date is typically the day the transaction was made, AKA the day the card was swiped. And your second option will be clearing date. Clearing date is when the transaction has cleared, which is about two to three days after the transaction is made. If all looks well, you'll go ahead and click save changes. Good news is not everything here is set in stone, so you can always come back to any of these sections and make changes to any of these accounts. So let's go to reimbursements now. Over here, you're going to click on the drop down and select your accounts payable account. This is where any reimbursements will get posted to. And down here, you're going to select which bank account and cash account you'll be paying reimbursements out of. So I'll be using the same bank account, so I'll also use the same cash account. So we'll click Save Changes now. Next up, we have Bill Pay. If you are planning to use Bill Pay, go ahead and click on this drop down and select Accounts Payable. Bills will go ahead and post there and you have two options for export availability. You can either select after the bill is fully approved, meaning it has been reviewed and paid, or you can select after the bill has been created, which means the bill was created and uploaded in RAMP and details were filled out. Down here, you'll select which bank account you want to pay bills from. So I only have one connected right now, so I'll go ahead and select that, and I'll also select my cash account again. Once all the drop downs have been selected, go ahead and click Save Changes. Okay, now we can exit out of this window, and now you'll see we are good to go in terms of exporting our transactions. Now, when it comes to exporting transactions, the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that the accounting category is filled out. As you can see, this check mark is grayed out because there is no accounting category. Accounting category is your chart of accounts. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and code this one transaction. This is from Aloft, looks like it was a hotel. So let's code this to travel. Now that my transaction is selected for uh, accounting category, you'll notice that these, this green check mark has appeared. You'll want to make sure that you take your scroll bar on the bottom and move it all the way to the end of the screen to make sure all fields that are necessary are filled out. From there, if you feel that this transaction is ready to export, you'll simply click on this green check mark and this will mark it as ready to export. You may have noticed that it disappeared from this tab, but that's okay because it moved over to ready to export and you want this needs review tab to be cleared out, especially by the time you pay your statement. Now, both of these transactions look good, except the second one here looks like it still needs an accounting category. So I'm going to click undo so we can fill that out at a later time. If all looks well from here, I'm going to go ahead and click on export all. This will give me one last window of review. Now I have three options on how I want to export this file. 
Export IIF is specific for QuickBooks Desktop, and this is the one that I would highly recommend. If you click on Export As, you have two other options. You have Export as CSV and Export as Journal Entries. Export as CSV will be Excel file or CSV file that shows you just the credits. Export as Journal Entries will show you both the credits and debit. As I mentioned, for QuickBooks Desktop, I would recommend sticking to Export IIF. So go ahead and click on that and now you have your file downloaded. In order to import that file into QuickBooks Desktop, you'll simply open up QuickBooks Desktop. You'll go to File at the top left. You'll go to Utilities, and then you'll go to Import. If you are importing the Excel files, you will click here. If you are importing the IIF file, you'll click here. It'll prompt you to close all of your windows. It'll do it for you. And then this window will pop up. Once this window pops up, go ahead and click on Import IIF. You're going to select the import that you want, press Open, and now this dialog will pop up. This dialog indicates two things, lists and transactions and it shows that it has successfully been imported into QuickBooks Desktop. List is your vendors, transaction is the transaction itself. If your transaction import has failed, it'll show a review button here to the left of done. Be sure to click on that and open it with Microsoft Notepad since our support team will need that error message to help you from there. So since this was successfully imported, I'm going to press done and let's see where all of this is in QuickBooks. It actually lands in your vendor center. So if you open up your vendor center and then switch to transactions over here, click on credit card activities, you can filter by ramp card and then you'll see the transaction here. If you double click in you'll see further details such as the memo that was left. And now if you go back to RAMP, you'll also have an audit log of who made your exports and when. By clicking on these three dots and clicking on export history, you'll be able to see who made the export and on what date. So this wraps up the connection process as well as the export process.